Huh? 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 Street Fighter 6 Cami is the best thing out since sliced bacon. Street Fighter 6 has blessed us with an absolute beaut of a character in form of Cami White. I want to find the person who created this magnificent design and extend my arm out to them, shake their hand, and sincerely thank them from the bottom of my heart. Now I gotta keep it a buck with you guys, I was never the biggest fan of Cami back in the older Street Fighters. Her weird boob animations in Street Fighter 2 creeped me the fuck out, and in Street Fighter 5 she was a complete and utter wimp. I hate to sound so negative, you know I really do, but let's be real here, Street Fighter 5 Cami fucking sucked. No charisma whatsoever, she was damn near an NPC, all she would talk about was saving her sisters, which, fair enough, is a valid reason to be focused and stoic, but she would constantly self-deprecate at the same time, talking about, I don't feel like I deserve to be a protector of others. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kami, man the fuck up! Stop being such a wuss! That might sound a little harsh, but I have to stay based here, or she has to stay based here, I have to call it how it is. Kami is supposed to be a gangster, not a chump. But in Street Fighter 6, now we have a more charismatic Cami. She even laughs in her arcade mode, which is totally unheard of. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this might be the first time we heard Cami ever laugh in a Street Fighter. Never before heard Cami giggle. <laughs> Don't worry yourself, Uni. In the Street Fighter 6, Cami just feels like a completely different character. Her fighting style now feels more devastating and brutal. I mean, just check out her critical art. This is just too cold. Locked on. Her design changed for better or for worse depending on your style. Personally, I prefer the redesign. Her older outfit was just too damn skimpy and who in their right minds would fight in such a skimpy outfit? Like, her cooch might slip out mid-fight and just fuck with her fighting capabilities. But with this new design, she now sports yoga pants, which look awesome, man. So great. So mobile. A blue leather jacket. And can I just say, there is nothing more gangster than a leather jacket. So right on, Cami. And they cut her hair, which I'm a bit indifferent about. I don't really care. I mean, she looks nice with long hair or down hair. Down hair. Short hair. God, I'm autistic. And with all these things considered, I'm actually a bigger fan of Street Fighter 6's Cami's more subtle design. Keeping it simple and sweet just the way I like it. And can we just talk about her eyes for a moment? Look at them. They're so icy. So cold. She looks like a werewolf on the moon. Okay, I'll be it for today. I'm done glazing Kami. I'm honestly just doing this in hopes that she'd fuck me, but uh, yeah, I've been keeping these videos really positive as of late because I saw this comment on one of my older videos, a very old video. I'll pull it up if I can find it, but it said, I'm staying away from this channel. Too much negativity, but good luck. And at, in the moment, I was pretty spiteful. I was like, you know what? Fuck you, bitch. Talking shit. So I said, Bye, Felicia. See you on the other side. But looking back on it, I guess he was kind of right. So I'm trying to even out the whole negative kind of videos with the more positive style videos. But I got to get some things off my chest. And sneak peek, it's about Laura. And I see a lot of people saying Laura deserves to be back in Street Fighter 6. And I'm like, for what? But I'll go more into detail on my next video. But just thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Documentary style videos might return soon as well. But That'll be it for today. It's been a mass assailant. Stay safe, stay based, and I'm out. Peace.